Hi there. Hello. Hey, uh, could you make me a 17 minute tutorial on how to make RPG items? Alright. So, to start off, type in RPG item, space the name of the item that you want to make, so whatever you want to name it. This name will be the name that the plugin uses to recognize the item. It will not be the name that is displayed. You can change that to whatever you want later. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, give money. And then create. Whoop. I should say item give money created. Next thing you want to do, slash RPG item, name your item give, and you get a wooden sword, but we'll change that shortly. So, slash RPG item, space name your item of course, give money, uh, display. Now this can be whatever you want it to be. You can use color codes such as uh, and for uh, give, oh, I'm sorry, gif money, and change the name to gif money. Now, you can use multiple ones as well, so you do gif money. You can also use bold, italicized, any of the ones pretty much that are the and color command or color codes uh, to get whatever you want. So, after naming your item, Next thing you probably want to do is make it not a wooden sword. Now to do that, do RPG item, name your item, and then item, and then whatever you want to be. I'm going to have mine be a, an iron underscore. Make sure if it's a two-word item that you use an underscore, not a colon or space, anything like that. It has to be an underscore. You can still tab complete these, but as you'll see, it goes to caps. So if you do the underscore and then one letter of the next word, you'll be fine. And then enter, and bam! Iron Sword. Alright. Now we don't want this to be your typical Iron Sword, just named. That wouldn't be cool. So, next thing we're gonna do is change the damage. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna make this... I'm gonna make this a pretty good sword. So I'm gonna do 10 to 14 damage. If you want it to be one set amount whenever that someone gets hit by it, you can do just one number. If you want it to be a range, do one number and then a space, not a dash, has to be a space and whatever you want. And when it says damage, it counts that in half hearts. So 10 damage is gonna be five hearts, 14 is going to be seven, simple enough. Next is going to be the quality. And the set quality, there is a function in the plugin that is quality and then I believe, yes. Um, they have trash and a few others. I think it's trash, uncommon, rare, and something else. But when you change that, it only changes the display name, and it changes the color of the display name. So, what I do, is I change what hand it is, because everything in Minecraft is one-handed. I mean, you can say it's two-handed, but it isn't. So, I do hand, and then whatever I want to do. So, I'm going to make this one, it's going to be a pretty rare sword, so I'm going to make it rare. And for our server, rare is red. Now, whenever doing the hand, if you do a color, the color code will change the entire line of text, which would end up doing this. It would make this, the word sword also red. So to stop that from happening, we're going to do the one for white, which is F. And bam. Now, we've got a rarity, a name, and some damage to your item. Next thing you want to do, maybe it's not a sword. Go type, and let's make it a rapier. And bam. Turns to a rapier. And you can make that anything you want. Um, I don't believe there's a character limit, so. Uh, next thing, now that we've got it as a rapier, its name, rarity, all that jazz, maybe we want to add some backstory to this. Now to do that, you can add lore to a weapon. There's going to be two ways of actually doing this. You can do lore, and then you can do something called description. But first we'll do lore. So let's see, let's see. Uh, how about this? Gift me money or die meat bag. Bam. Where are we looking at now? So, we've got our lore, damage, rarity, name of our item, what it is. So, if you don't want to use lore, instead, there is another option, which would be description. So, it'd be description. And then, if you want a description, you do add. A mighty toothpick. So, bam. Mighty toothpick. So, Got a sword, 
with a name, with some damage, with a quality, and a type. So next thing you probably want to do is probably want to change its durability because if it's a very good sword, it's not going to have a lower durability. To do that, just do durability and then whatever you want. Now you can actually you can make this lower. You can also make it higher. So I'm going to change my durability to a thousand. So got a durability of a thousand. This sword will last a lifetime. So after doing that, add some powers. There are many many powers. Uh, but first thing I kind of I've kind of skipped over, but I guess we should do is the help system with this plugin. The plugin creator does have a help page that has a bunch of commands, but it is just a list of commands, and it's kind of tedious to find the one you're looking for. But this command has it how every other plugin should have it. It is a search engine pretty much in the command. Let's see if I don't know how to add a power to an item, or I don't know what all the powers to add to an item are. I could do slash RPG item name your item power. And it showed me this list of what I typed in up to power and then what I can do after that. So as you can see, there's like lightning, knock up, potion hit, potion self, rainbow, teleport, all these power things. So this is really useful if you don't want to keep jumping back to this video or keep looking at a help page or anything like that because it it's all pretty much in the plugin. So um, first power we'll add is going to be a potion tick. So I can see have an amplifier. Now remember... Zero is one in this plugin. Zero is the number one. So I'm gonna go zero. Um, and the effect I want to use is going to be regeneration. Boop. It says power added. Now you can add actually quite a few of these. I don't believe there's a limit to how many powers you can add. It'll kind of get wonky if you add too many. But we'll just add a couple more. So one of the ones that is really interesting and Whenever I was learning how to use this plugin, I literally found no help anywhere. And even even in the search engine function, it doesn't really it doesn't really tell you how to do it very well. And it's going to be the command one. Now, if you do this, it'll show you it has a cooldown, left and right, and then details or string. Now, when it says details and string, it means whatever is going to be executed, what command or whatever this is going to be. So. If you read this, it says runs, command, left and right click, details. Bleh. The big thing is right here it says displayed text, command, permission. Now, this looks really weird because with Minecraft text, this little symbol looks like a semicolon. Or I mean, sorry, a colon. And uh, it's not. And also, it doesn't even show you the other symbol that you need while you are doing this. So, command. See, I'm going to add one with a cooldown of, let's say, 10 seconds. Now, this plugin does use ticks instead of actual seconds. So when you're setting a cooldown, it is measured in ticks. And if you guys didn't know, 20 ticks is one second in real time. So if you want 10 seconds, 200 ticks. So 200 ticks. Uh, I want this to execute this command when I right-click. I'm going to do right. And then now we're going to do the complicated part. Now, first thing you want to do is add this character. Now this character is going to be left of the wand under the escape key. It is the, not the squiggle line, but the unshifted version of the squiggle line. So that, and then whatever text you want, so I'm gonna go with, uh, make it rain. So after that, close it with one as well. After that, I'm going to wanna to use this weird symbol. Now to get this weird symbol, it is, it's the shift version, version of forward slash. It should be right above your enter key. Um, so it's, it is not, yeah, as staple shows you, it is not a colon. It is, see, you can, there's a little bit of a difference. When I was learning this plugin and specifically this command, I it took me like a week to figure that I was doing that wrong. Um, just because it's only a slight difference and in most things you can't even tell. So next in the line is going to be the command that you want to execute. Now, just to be safe, I always use these weird parentheses-like things. Um, let's see, the command I want to use is slash nuke, and we'll close it up, do another thing. Now, a really, really cool thing that I like about this plugin is uh, the option to add a permission to an item, um, and it does not give them the permission permanently. It does not give them the permission permanently. It is a one-time use. Anyway, so we're going to go essentials.nuke, is that it? And then, bam. It's a power added. 
Now let's see if I did this right. Looking at it, it'll say, make it rain, new line of text. Uh, all the powers will be in green text. Kind of interesting, but let's see if it worked. Right click, may death rain upon them. Uh oh. All right. So now that we've got a command and we've got a normal power, all the potion powers are pretty pretty self-explanatory, especially if you use the search system. It'll really help you out. Um, all right, so now that we've gone over another power, let's go ahead and go over how you would want to delete an item. And to do that, we're going to do name the RPG item that you're wanting to delete and then just remove. Now that we've got our items made, we're going to go over the recipe. Now, the recipe is the probably the most dangerous part of this plugin because you can screw yourself over in a heartbeat. So, you have to have the items you want to make the recipe out of in your inventory when you do this. Do not do it with an empty inventory. Do it with the items in your inventory. I want cobblestone and this stone slab. I have it in my inventory. So, to do it, RPG item, name your item, recipe. Now when you do this, it'll pull up this window. But you only are going to be using this square. This is your crafting table square. So think of this as a crafting table right here. Now this is where the plugin is scary because let's say, oh, I forgot the items I wanted to make the recipe out of. I'm just going to escape out of it. Uh-oh. Recipe set. What does that mean? And if I if anyone looks in a in a crafting table, it will be there. Oh shit. I think Stapy just blew us up. <laughs> Stapy just blew us up. <laughs> he seems to be following along in this tutorial as well. <clears throat> but see? And they can just take and take and take. So, do not leave the recipe empty at any... Like, put anything in there. doesn't matter. You can change it. Just don't leave it empty. So, now <laughs> that we're going to stop this disaster, we're going to open the recipe again. And as you can see, the second time you open it, it'll have this here saying, do not change. Use the empty slots. So, I want this to be, uh, like so, cobblestone, stone slab. That looks really dumb. Nice. Actually, that's, that's some fence in. <laughs> oh, great. So, looks really stupid, but hit E. That's classy. It is set. So, if I do this, get all the materials I need, which I believe I have some more. And we go ahead and craft in the crafting table. That retarded recipe. This retarded recipe. I will get the item. Now, when making these recipes, you cannot use an RPG item in the recipe. By that I mean, if, say I make an RPG item that is fence, um, it will only show up as the item code for fence. What I mean by that is, in this recipe, it needs one fence, and that RPG item is uh, recognized as that item code. So even if it's an RPG item, if someone were to replace that RPG item with this, the normal version of it, it'll work. Ways to get around this are make it really expensive, uh, use items that cannot be found normally in games, such as lit fire and uh, piston heads, half beds, things like that. You can find a list of those in the description. Uh, I'll post I'll post a link to what I use um, for that. All right, now you got the recipe for your awesome weapon that has your powers, your lore, your damage, your name, everything like that. Another way to uh, let your players get these items or get them for yourself, whatever, is with mob drops. Now it's really cool, this plugin incorporates that um, just by RPG item, uh, name your item, so mine was give money, uh, drop, and it'll show you the help for it. So uh, you can change the chance that it drops and you can double the chance. Now as you can see, 0% prevents it from dropping. Um, you can actually go down to I believe it's the hundredth place of a percent, and it'll still it'll still work. Um, although it will show up as one percent, it is smaller than one percent. It just doesn't show the decimal. Now let's say I've got my item here, and I want it to be dropped by zombies, and I want it to be. And also, also it's always nice to tab complete these to make sure you get the name right. Like pig zombie is, uh, what is a pig? A pigman is a pig zombie. Things like that. Um, so I want a zombie to drop it. I want them to drop it, you know what, 100% of the time. So I'm going to do 100. 100% chance. As you can see, it shows the up to the 100th place, there, the 10th and 100th place there. And now, if any zombie is killed, whoop, 
It'll drop the sword. Okay, so now that we've got our plethora of gift money, one last command I want to talk about is the consume option. Now, I'm going to make a new item for it, so let's call it... Um... Lighter. Create. Give. I'm not going to change his name, but I will make it a stick. Alright, so... We've got our lighter here. It is called Wooden Sword, but I'm not going to make you watch that. Anyway, first thing is power, consume, and that's it. First and only. Now, what this does is when you hover over it, it'll say consume on use. And that means when it is right-clicked with, it will be consumed. Now, items that stack, such as paper or feathers, anything like that. Sticks. Sticks as well. If you have a stack of them that are consumed on use, they will all be consumed. Now it gets consumed, it's out of power. Uh, <laughs> TNT cannon. So right click and. Whoa. Oh man. Uh, that was you, if anyone <laughs> asks. But alright. That for the most part wraps up how to use this plugin and how to get started and pretty much the functions of it. So if you guys have any more questions or anything, leave them in the comments. Contact us on our website. All right. I think that's that's a wrap or whatever. That's a wrap. <laughs>